All right, guys, welcome to another eBay Slay unboxing video. I have two games for you. Unfortunately, uh, if the title of this video is episode question mark, question mark, question mark, that's because I don't think I uploaded either one of these videos. Either I deleted them or I didn't record, but I do consider them slays, and it's kind of cool because they're surprises to you guys. One of them is a shooter that's going to be added to the shooter bracket, uh, that, which is going to determine the greatest shooter of all time, which I am doing with Blast Mode 7 and maybe some, some other people. Uh, like long shot and uh, who knows maybe some uh, the uh, locals like Cody or uh, people on YouTube uh, like uh, friends of mine like power player Paul I really gotta wrap my head around this there's so many ideas that are that are coming in that are coming in to my mind but I really want to do this well and um, I don't know maybe the idea is to have a bunch of people do this and uh, well let me just throw it out to you and see what you guys think so let's say I include five different youtubers right including myself it has to be an odd number in a bracket or you're not gonna be able to determine a winner is that correct no that's actually not correct if you have an even number at the end two teams play blah 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 alright I'm not making sense anyway forget about the odds and evens five youtubers or maybe four maybe three I don't know but anyway however many they pick, let's say, let's throw a number out there for example, 20 shooters. They pick the greatest 20 shooters in their collection. I pick the greatest 20 shooters in my collection. The others pick the greatest 20 in their collections. And then each individual YouTuber does a bracket, which is all funneled through my channel. Um, and, and so I can present it. That way it gets the, the, the uh, a little bit more views if it's a lesser uh, viewed channel. Um, so it's all funneled through my channel. And then um, at the end of that, that way each YouTuber's going to, at the end of that, going to determine what the best shooter in their collection is. Um, and I know, I think Blast Mode 7 has a bunch of good shooters. You guys know I have a bunch of good shooters. So uh, I'm only going to choose people that have great shmup collections. All right, so, um, so that's the idea. And then at the end, we'll have, let's say we have five YouTubers. We're going to have five of the greatest shooters of all time. No, I guess it would have to be an even number. Four of the greatest shooters of all time going into a final four of shooters. And then the videos that... Um, uh, proceed these videos these the actual bracketology if I'm making any sense um, are prior to that those videos are going to be called the road to the final four which is basically us us youtubers testing these games out showing you guys some video play of them anyway that's the idea anyway you guys throw some ideas out there if you want and let me know what you guys think about that and uh, that's about it I have talked way too long we're going to open this baby up. Now I can't remember if I've talked about the interesting packaging job on this one over here. I had to re-record this a couple times, so I'm not sure now. Okay, so here's the shooter. Now, a lot of you guys might not know about this game, so that's why I'm, I'm glad to pick it up and to hip you guys to the game. We have Gakayo Shooting King on the PlayStation 1. That's a Natsum game, or Natsume. And this game is complete. And this is a vertical shooter, guys. And by the way, this light in here is the most intensive light for scratches. It's actually unfair to the sellers, this light, but I kind of like it because it really lets you know the condition of a disc. And this one's just dusty. Oh, yeah, it's in very nice condition. There's nothing wrong with that. You just wipe that off so you guys don't think that's disc rot. Yeah, there's a few crumbs on it, but overall, that's a very nice condition disc. Yeah, that comes off. It's just crumbs. 
All right, so I'm happy with that. Uh, now, the interesting thing about this, this is a very good shooter, okay, if you haven't heard of this game. Now, this game right here has uh, uh, bonus rounds. They're not bonus rounds, like bonus, uh, oh yeah, bonus rounds where they take the regular game and they change the formula. Like, for instance, whatever the original backgrounds are in the game, which is like right here, I think, they change it to an ancient times background where the color is different, the sounds are different, I think the backgrounds are different. Um, so that's really cool. And then they have like a Game Boy, an original Game Boy type of effects. That's another bonus round you can play. And then another one is a comic round where your gunshots sound silly, your your uh, your bullets sound like really weird, like kind of like ping, 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 like little funny sounds. And then when the uh, objects explode, you hear laughter, which I know sounds really terrible and really weird. But I mean, the fact that the uh, the developers put all that effort in to make all these extra bonus features on the on the uh, the actual game to me is really cool. Uh, Lord Carnage made a video of it. He does a lot better job describing that. So if you want to check out his video, you'll be able to see exactly what's going on with this game. Uh, Gakayo, I think I'm pronouncing that right, Shooting King. Uh, it's supposed to be a really nice shooter, guys. And uh, like I said, this will be in the bracket. Now, if I haven't described this, because I have recorded this a few times, so my channel has become almost like a comedy for the way people ship stuff to me, whether they're putting sheets in there for packing or they're putting no packaging at all. This is a new one right here. So you have fragile, fragile written on there. We've all seen this uh, effect before where they wrap the cardboard around the disc, the jewel case, right? But then they shove it in an envelope. This guy decided not to shove it in the envelope. So you can actually see what the game is if you look closely. You're probably not going to be able to see it in this light, but you can actually see this a PS1 game. Yeah. So let me know, guys, what you think about that shipping job. The guy did not want to pay 79 cents more for the bubble wrap. All right, let's open this up. This is going to be a reflip, guys. I've decided already before I even open it. I got a decent deal on it, and I think I can make probably $20 to $30 more on it, so I'm going to go ahead and flip it. I already have it in my collection, and this one is sealed. And again, this is something hard to open also. It's not, it's not just that it's packed bad. It's difficult to open something like this without damaging the case. Nightmare. Shit. Oh, wow. What do you use? A friggin' uh, ceiling fan paneling? Unbelievable. This guy didn't even use cardboard, he used, pan he used wall paneling. Tampons, wall paneling, sheets, who knows what the fuck they're going to send shit at. Alright, maybe you can see that. How do you like that? How do you like those biscuits? Now we're cooking with some Crisco oil, right? Having a difficult time with everything I'm doing tonight. All right, let's see if we can keep this in decent shape here. All right, guys, so we have the fold tab back there. It looks like that's intact. Looks pretty good from the back side. I think I paid 63 with shipping for this. Mega Man Legends, as you can see, he probably got it from a thrift store for $18.50. Factory sealed. It is the greatest hits version. Yeah, I mean, I can't complain about the seal. The seal looks very nice. So like I said, I paid about 63 for that. I think I'm going to go ahead and reflip that. I'm just going to throw it online for $99.99. If I can't get that, I'll lower the price to $89.99. But 
I'm definitely in for a profit on that one. Uh, something that I had to think about for a while, but I think I'm going to go ahead and flip it. I already have the game, even though it's... I have the case, the back art, and the loose disc of this game. I do not have the front cover. But I'm really bad about sealed games. I'm not going to open it. And why? Is, what's the sense in adding this to the collection if I already have it? Uh, it's definitely going to be a reflipper for me. Alright guys, sorry for the uh, long video on this one. I uh, did want to talk about my shoot. I didn't even think I was going to talk about the uh, shooter bracket, but uh, I am interested in your thoughts in that. And uh, let me know if, if somebody's into that, if somebody wants to be a part of that, um, please let me know. Not that if you say you're going to be in, you want to be a part of it, you're going to be. I mean, I have to make a decision. I think I can only be, I, th I think probably four is the max. Maybe it's only going to be two. I don't know yet. All I know is Blast Mode 7's in it. He's going to help me with editing on this. He's going to be, basically he's going to do all the editing and he's going to funnel that over to my channel and he's going to do, uh, he's definitely going to be part of the shooters because I know he has a good collection of shooters and um, as well, I do too. So uh, we're definitely going to put something together and I think it's going to be real fun for the YouTube community and uh, if we can include other people in that, that's definitely uh, something that I would like to do. All right guys, thanks a lot for watching the video. Peace. I'll talk to you later.